Congratulations on landing that new on-the-job training position. This is a brief review of what you learned in the Career Building Workshop to remind you of key things to do on your first day on the job. This section will present what you can do before you start your new job so you can focus on making that all-important first impression. The new job checklist from the document pack sent to you in your original invitation to the Grill Building Workshop has many of these and it helps to have it in hand when you go to your new job. Make sure you've got the right clothes for your job. Try them on and make sure they fit. Make three piles of clothes you'll wear for the first three days. Clean your shoes. Make sure any support services you need are set up in advance. Do you need childcare, new clothes? Discuss this with your recruiter who can steer you to resources. Plan your route ahead of time. Account for the time it takes to get from the bus stop or parking place to work. Have an alternative. Don't just not show up because your car didn't work. Have a plan B and C in case A doesn't work. Make sure you have these documents done and ready. Put them in your first day clothes pile in an envelope. That way you can just grab it and go. This section is to remind you what to do to accomplish on your first day. Don't be late. Don't arrive too early. Aim for about 10 minutes. Find out the procedure on what to do if you'll be absent. Learn what the attendance policy and the procedures are. Keep your head up and when you pass someone by, just smile, perhaps greet them. First impressions, remember? Remember the skill of introducing yourself? Don't forget to practice your polite response in case someone wants to shake hands and you prefer to be safe and avoid that. Chris's response is very typical of what you'll get. You've just learned what they do. Jan just learned the other person's name. Don't forget to repeat it so you'll remember it. If you go over 40 hours, you're paid overtime. Some companies control this very tightly. Others are loose about it. Find out what those procedures are before you accidentally trigger overtime. And how do you track your time worked? Find out if there's any informal rules. Sometimes a supervisor likes folks to give them a shout out when they're leaving, for example. Watch, listen, and learn. It's okay to ask questions, especially to confirm what you've heard. Be flexible to anything you're asked to do. There's always opportunities in those things. Find out the preferred communication with your supervisor and with your talent coach. It may not be the same. Do they want you to call? Do they want you to text? Congratulations on your new job. Enjoy it and thrive.